So Moises International University has come out with the notification for SNAP and like last year they have announced changes in the pattern of the paper. The changes to my mind are for the betterment of most of the students. Some students might definitely be unhappy because GK has vanished but GK is a problem for most of the students and it being removed will definitely benefit most a majority of the students I would say. Let's look at the section wise breakup. Last year quant, English and reasoning. Each of the three sections had 35 questions. 30 questions of one mark each and 5 questions of two mark each. These two mark questions had double the negative mark marking obviously, but they were two marks and they were theta or non MCQ. No choices were there. So 40 into 3, 120 marks for these uh, three sections and 30 marks for GK. This year in English, 35 questions have been reduced to 34 questions, but each question now is one and a half mark. What does that mean? That means last year a good attempt was about 30 questions and those 30 questions would have given you about 30 to 33 marks. This year the same attempt of 30 questions will give you about 45 marks. Assuming uh, you get all of them right, it will be 45 otherwise a couple of negatives will be there. So which means there is a clear upside of 10 marks for each one of you. English is usually not difficult. There is a small portion of English which is difficult which is the uh, grammar part where they ask you the theory of the grammar. Okay. Uh, let's go to the second part, which is uh, reasoning. Analytical reasoning, 35 questions last year. This year it is 36 questions. So in terms of number of questions, it is the same. The challenge as far as SNAP is concerned is this particular section because the level of difficulty of some of the questions is very high and some questions are so vague that it becomes very, very difficult to even attempt them. A good attempt in this section typically is about 20, 22 questions. Last year, those 20, 22 questions would have given you maybe about 25 to 26 marks. This year, the same attempt of 2022 will give you about 30 marks. So it was again one and a half marks per question. The, the key thing out to understand here is because of elimination of GK, you will save a little bit of time, but that time will not be of great use because in reasoning, you will still not be able to solve many questions. Assuming the paper pattern in terms of degree of difficulty continues. The other sec, the third section quant, instead of uh, 35 questions, which was 30 plus 5, this high it has become 35 plus uh, plus 5, which adds up to 45 questions. Quant the extra 5 questions, I am reasonably sure many of you will attempt 2 to 3 extra questions and which are going to give you one uh, another 2 to 3 marks. So when you look at this paper, GK vanish, your focus has to be on quant, English and reasoning. Second, uh, English same attempts will give you higher marks so those higher marks will be valid for everyone so you're not gaining as a as such per se but your marks will definitely improve and similarly maths your marks will improve by a couple of marks reasoning assuming the same level of difficulty continues you should not expect too much upside on that area because the, uh, the difficulty out there is the kind of questions so how should you prepare mocks mock snaps have to be taken regularly the pattern changes the level of difficulty changes and we have the old snap papers in your aspiration account uh, so so please make sure you do them secondly only when you start taking these papers will you understand how you should be allocating your time across the three sections uh, else in the actual paper you'll struggle and you'll suddenly find you're given too much or too little time to one section hope this video clears your doubts about the notification if you have any other queries feel free to connect with me or log on to currylauncher.com all the best Career Launcher. Make your parents explode with joy.